So, so what is a company would try but unsuccessfully buy ARM maybe uh, first to explain this? There are a few, <laughs> but uh, NVIDIA was probably the biggest one that was known. So uh, ARM is, they, they were, they're a Cambridge-based company uh, based in the UK um, for quite a while, for a good 20 years. And then they were bought by SoftBank, which so, is a so Japanese uh, company. First, NVIDIA tried to buy them. So they were bought by SoftBank. No, but at the beginning, NVIDIA tried to buy them, but Europe say no. I, I, I try to complete the story for the people who don't know the history. Sure. In, in, in fact, SoftBank bought them first, and then they were uh, yeah. to try and buy them out of SoftBank. It, ah, okay. So at the beginning, SoftBank bank, uh, buy them when? I'm trying to remember the date. Yeah, 2014, maybe? something. Like 2014? I, I don't remember. I have to look, so don't, don't take this as gospel, okay. right? But but uh, maybe 2015. Maybe. So a little bit more like 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. SoftBank buy them. So SoftBank is a third Japanese fund, uh, so third Japanese telco and very large uh, edge funds uh, on the Japanese market. Big investor in tech, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of investment today in AI and in, in different uh, telcos and you know, a lot of investment in tech. And, and, and they bought, uh, they, they, they bought ARM and basically they let them operating like all they want. Exactly. They were trying to help them to grow. So they were using their relationships in tech to try and help actually, ARM actually grow. At the same time, they were leaving them free to, to run their own business. Exactly. Right. Okay. And then what's happened? So many people try to buy ARM from soft 